Well, greetings, friends. What a beautiful day it is here in Lyman, South Carolina. Well, yesterday we talked about minding your own business. If you don't, it's kind of like grabbing a dog by the ears, and you know what's going to happen when you do that. But today I want to kind of, kind of build on that or tie into that with a scripture from Psalm 141, verse 3. The psalmist cries out and he says, Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Well, I remember I'm reminded over in James, that James talks about the danger of the tongue and how it's hard to tame the tongue. And in chapter number three in James, uh, he talks about it uh, in verse four about ships and how a ship is controlled by just a small rudder. And in then verse five, it's so, so also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. Uh, how great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire, the scripture says. In verse six, and the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on the fire the entire course of life and set on fire by hell. And then in verse number 10, it says, from the same mouth come blessing and cursing, my brothers. These things ought not be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening, both fresh and salt water? Can a fig tree, my brothers, bear olives or a grapevine produce figs? Neither can a salt pond yield fruit, uh, fresh water. So what James is saying that what should come out of our mouth is something pure, something holy. If, it, if, if it's not, then we, uh, we need to keep our mouth shut. But unfortunately, there are too many people, sometimes so-called Christians, that pour from their mouth uh, uh, things that are not pleasing, things that downgrade getting in other business, other people's business, so to speak, as we spoke yesterday. But everything from our lips should be holy, should be uplifting and encouraging people, not discouraging people. And I want to say sometimes we may have thoughts come into our mind that we want to say something, but it's best to do as the psalmist said, Lord, guard my lips, put, put a gate over my mouth. <laughs> so I encourage you, friends, let's think before we speak. Let's not allow bad things to come out and good things. Let's not be a hypocrite in that issue. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.